If you've ever been to China, you might have seen some of their interesting dog breeds. China is home to a wide range of breeds that are specific to the country, many of which are becoming increasingly popular around the world. Here is a list of the top 10 most popular Chinese dog breeds, including brief histories and facts. 1. Tibetan Mastiff. The Tibetan Mastiff is a large Chinese dog breed that originates in the nomadic cultures of China, Tibet, and Nepal. Their main purpose was to protect livestock from predators, such as tigers and leopards. However, the breed has taken off in recent years, and has become very popular around the world. Although the breed is known as a Mastiff, it isn't one, and this was just the name given by Western explorers when they first encountered the breed. Typically, the breed stands up to 33 inches tall, and is favored by owners because of its size. The breed is known for its long, shaggy coat, which helped it survive the cold winters in mountainous regions. They weigh between 121 and 198 pounds, but some of the biggest ever recorded weighed more than 250 pounds. 2. Sharpe. Sharpays are known around the world but have never really taken off as a famous dog, although they have a special place among dedicated breeders and owners. Sharpays have small, triangular ears that sit on top of their head, and a tail that curls over their back. The standard color for a Sharpe is fawn or cream, but kennel clubs recognize over 16 different colorations. They have a blue-black tongue, which is also seen in the Chow Chow, which was one of the original species the Sharpe was bred from. Did you know that, Sharpe, is a Cantonese word, which means, sandy skin? The breed was named, Sharpe, because of its rough coat bearing a sand-like texture. It's been recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records as one of the rarest breeds in the world. 3. Chinese Chongqing Dog. Chongqing dogs are medium-sized dogs, with short, bristly fur, a squished face, and pointy ears. This breed is also known as the East Sichuan Hound and originates from the regions of Sichuan and Chongqing in southwest China. The Chongqing dog is one of the oldest dogs with Chinese ancestry on this list and can be traced back to the 3rd century. An archaeological dig found statues resembling the breed in a graveyard from the Han Dynasty, proving that it's clearly been around for some time. Today, the Chongqing dog is rarer than the panda bears. There are only around 2,000 of them in China. 4. Chow Chow The Chow Chow originates from Chinese indigenous dogs, and some historians believe it can trace its history back over 2,000 years. They were initially bred as a hunting and fighting dogs, but were also used to pull sleds, and are well adapted to the colder climates of northern China. Chows are known for their stocky appearance and have a square head and large body. Their fur is very thick and fluffy and can be either soft or rough. Chows also have a curly tail that sits across its back. The standard color for the breed is cream or fawn, but they are also seen in black and red. A Chow Chow is best known for looking like a giant teddy bears. They are not the friendliest dogs and are often described as aloof by owners and breeders. They don't do well in hot climates, which rules them out to a large number of potential owners, and they can be challenging to manage. They are best known for their blue-black tongues which is a unique feature not seen on many other dog breeds. 5. Tibetan Terrier Yet another breed that was misidentified by European explorers, this breed is also known by its traditional name of Sang Apso. While they bear similarities to terriers, they're not in any way genetically related. Tibetan terriers can trace their lineage back thousands of years, and fulfilled a range of uses, including companions, guard dogs, herding dogs, and retrievers. Tibetan Terriers are medium-sized dogs, and usually stand between 14 and 16 inches tall, and can weigh anywhere between 18 and 30 pounds. Tibetan Terriers have a medium muzzle with feathered ears. Their bodies are quite compact with a high set, curly tail. They have a double coat, but shed their hair more like humans than other dogs. It can grow quite long, and does need regular trimming and grooming to keep it looking nice. They can be very sensitive to their owner's emotions, and make very good companion dogs. 6. Lhasa Apso 
The Lhasa Apso is another small Chinese dog breed, and is easily recognizable due to its distinctive appearance and popularity in the West. It was originally bred as a guard dog in Buddhist temples, and so is naturally alert and wary of strangers. However, its behavior can be easily modified with training, and it can be a very sociable breed. Lhasa Apsos are known for their long, straight coat that's very dense, and can be seen as slightly wavy in some dogs. One of the best features of the breed is that they have a surprisingly long lifespan. Some Lhasa Apsos have been known to live well into their 20s, but standard life expectancy is between 12 and 14 years. 7. Pekingese. Pekingese are also known as lion dogs because they look like the ancient Chinese lion statues commonly found in temples and palaces. They're an ancient breed and are known as toy dogs. This makes them count as a small Chinese dog breed, and are in fact, one of the smallest on this list. The breed was originally kept by Chinese royalty as a companion dog. The Forbidden City, the seat of Chinese royalty, is located in Peking, now called Beijing, is where its name comes from. However, the breed has soared in popularity around the world and is favored for its appearance and temperament. The breed has hardly changed in the last 2000 years and is known for its long and fluffy coat. Did you know that, 3 out of 12 dogs survived the sinking of the Titanic? One of them is a Pekingese. And did you know that in ancient China, stealing a Pekingese was a crime punishable by death? 8. Chinese Crested Dog The Chinese Crested Dog is considered to be one of the small dog breeds originating in China. They are probably one of the most recognizable breeds on this Chinese dog's list and are known worldwide for their unusual lack of fur. They still have fur on their head, feet, and tail, hence the crested part of their name. The rest of the body, however, is completely bald and is often characterized by spots on the skin. Chinese crested dogs were originally bred to be a companion for the disabled and elderly, and so they have all of the desired characteristics of a companion pet. The Chinese crested dog is quite a well-known breed because it's been the winner of the world's ugliest breed in 2003, 2004, and 2005. 9. Shi Su the Shi Su is probably one of the most recognizable dogs to come out of China. Although the breed was developed in China, it originated in Tibet thousands of years ago. They are popular among owners for their long coat and majestic appearance, and are regularly shown in competitions. Shi Su's have been kept in the Western world for hundreds of years and are recognized by all major kennel clubs. The name Shi Su comes from the Chinese word, lion, as it's believed that the dogs look like the ancient Chinese lion guardians. In English, it was also known as the chrysanthemum dog, but this name died out as the more traditional name became popular. The Shi Su temperament is one of the best features about the breed. Obviously it'll be different between dogs, but as standard, the breed is known for being very affectionate and loyal. They are very alert, and are known to be very active, which does mean that they also need regular exercise. 10. Pug The Pug is probably one of the most recognizable breeds in the world and has held a special place in popular culture for many years. Characterized by its squished face, stocky body, and curly tail, Pugs have a long history in both the East and the West. When they were first brought to Europe, they became a popular companion for royal families. Pugs are definitely among the popular Chinese breeds and are known for their big personalities and friendly temperaments. Pugs can be stubborn, but not in a bad way, and they are easy enough to train if you're committed. They're rarely aggressive and will get on well with other pets and children. For this reason, they make great family dogs. They're surprisingly strong for their size and require more exercise than you might think for a small breed. Due to their use as companion dogs, pugs appreciate the human interaction and are very aware of changes in their owner's mood. They're eager to please and should be played with regularly. While they do require plenty of exercises, pugs also appreciate sleeping for much of the day. Before I go, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. Now, it's your turn. Have you owned one of these adorable Chinese dog breeds? Leave your comment below.